And I'm Adam. <laughs> and we're the owners and operators of Urban Roots Farm. And Urban Roots is actually in West Central Neighborhood, which is in downtown Springfield, Missouri. And we are right in the middle of a neighborhood. We're about a mile west of our downtown here in Springfield. Uh, we have 1.7 acres of ground here. Um, we also have a eight unit apartment complex on the property. Um, and so we actually have about three quarters of an acre in, in actual crop space. Um, we serve a 75 member CSA uh, here in town. Uh, we use a lot of season extension equipment. Um, we have three 30 by 50 high tunnels uh, and a greenhouse. And we've also put a couple of caterpillar tunnels in over the last uh, two years. Um, and then we use a lot of low tunnels uh, during the fringe months. We got a Sarah Grant um, in 2015, in the 2015 cycle, um, in order to evaluate uh, a system that was uh, that we learned about um, through J.M. Fortier's book, uh, The Market Gardener. Um, and basically what that system entails is uh, a, a change in the way that we turn beds over. Um, on a, in a farm on our scale, uh, it requires us to turn beds very rapidly. Um, and the way that we were doing that previously uh, required us to remove crop residues, uh, move them to a compost pile, and then ultimately return uh, that matter once it was decomposed back to the, to the space that it more or less came from. In, in reading The Market Gardener, uh, we became aware of a system in which uh, you cover, you can see this black plastic uh, on the ground behind us here, and uh, you cover the ground with an opaque material um, for a period of time uh, to accelerate the breakdown of crop residues. Um, prior to covering it, we, uh, we flail mow it, um, which is an implement for our walk-behind tractor that basically pulverizes um, whatever crop residue is left there. Anytime we use, use a cover crop, uh, we pulverize those and then cover, um, which allows us to kill down cover crops anytime we want, rather than just when, uh, when a optimal kill time occurs. Um, it buys us time too, because a lot of the times whenever you have a crop that you're finished with or maybe it's a crop that went south and didn't do exactly as you had planned if in the past if we hadn't attended to that immediately and tilled it then um, we would just start getting weeds you know and we would be irrigating weeds the entire time and so if we can jump in there now and cover it with this plastic it's already moving us forward and not wasting any time like before um, and we're not contributing to the weed impact in the seed beds. The major takeaways for us uh, on, on what this system provided for the farm um, is it had a, a serious impact on, uh, on our soil structure. Um, our soils uh, have, have much healthier structure, they're much fluffier these days, um, and they stay that way. One of the principles of this is that it creates a, an optimal germination area. Um, and, and what happens is it builds moisture in that upper layer of, layer of soil, holds that moisture in there, and warms the soil. And so we can get uh, germination of weed seed at almost any time of the year with these tarps lying on the ground. And uh, ordinarily, we wouldn't be looking to germinate weed seeds probably in our beds. Um, but what happens is those, those weeds come up under the tarp, they find no light, and this is the occultation part, which is the, uh, the occlusion of light, um, and they, they perish, um, which results in fewer weed seeds in our soil in the long term. Being a small farm like we are, it is very hard to change your ways. And <laughs> this grant, um, actually gave us that opportunity because we could see the benefits and we could read the benefits and we were hearing everybody else but we we tend to get into our routine and we know what works for us and a lot of times you don't have that money up front to just say you know what let's let's just go for it let's try this and so opportunities that Sarah provides was just night and day because our farming methods after that grant have 100% changed. Mm -hmm.